information. They experience kind of what's going on there. It's like real time. It's like they were there. That was like My going to the pleasure. gym. Boom, boom. Legendary IBMer, CEO of Symantec, and now CEO of Virtual Instrument. Uh, great to have you on the Cube. So for Cube to be here at a conference like this, it's got 50. Good morning, I'm Kristen Folletti and welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Wednesday, June 12th, 2013. IBM Edge is running this week at the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas. Wikibon senior analyst Stu Miniman, who has been attending the event, joins us now to provide us with some updates as to what's been taking place. Good morning, Stu. Good to see you. Hey, good morning, Kristen. It's Wednesday. It must be that I'm still in Las Vegas. <laughs> IBM's Ambouge Goyal made a statement uh, that the term storage is antiquated and that the industry should focus on data and results. So, Stu, I want to get your, uh, your response to that. What's your take on that statement? Yeah, uh, it, it's uh, it, it, it's a bit humorous, you know. He said, first of all, you think storage is something up in your attic, uh, and actually, as somebody that you know worked for a major storage company for ten years, the first response everybody would have is like, "Oh, I work in storage," and they'd say, "You, you mean like those big crates or the you know the place where you get a locker?" No, 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 no. Uh, it, it, it's 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 about data. It's about information, and that's where Ambush is going. It's it's not about where we have a repository for information or we have archives. It's really about how we get you know you know, utilization and results out of what we've done. And that was a big thing. Of course, what I poke at a little bit is, you know, IBM has been uh, kind of an afterthought in the storage market competitively for the last few years. So it helps to try to reinvent that definition and therefore you can position yourself better. Uh, of course, IBM, you know, is a huge company, has lots of software assets. assets. They are you know, very big in the services industry, and they're trying to be, you know, hit uh, these new waves of innovation and disruption uh, that are coming into the kind of the data, the storage market uh, to become more relevant. Now, IBM sees Flash as having a major impact on system architectures. Uh, Stu, is this a new idea? Uh, so, uh, you know, if you listen to the, the presentations on Flash, uh, much of it, you could say, you know, really uh, echoes what Wikibon has been saying for the last couple of years. So, no, I wouldn't say that it is new. Uh, as a matter of fact, that is one of the criticisms of IBM is, you know, they do come out sometimes and say, we have this great idea. Um, I actually went to a session of theirs in 2010 where they said, you know, Flash is going to radically change, uh, you know, what's going on in storage. And we're sitting there saying, well, EMC has been putting Flash into their array since 2008. Here we are 2013 and we're still talking about Flash. Um, we think it's a good message though. Flash is radically changing uh, the, the entire software um, and IBM now has a, you know, a pretty solid portfolio. Everything from what they're doing in uh, extending their easy tier uh, into the server uh, through the Flash systems, which was the TMS acquisition that they've done. Um, so you know, Flash is the hot button topic for storage. Um, it's been coming for the last five years, but we still think there's more innovation we'll see over the next five years than we did the last. So it's good to see IBM's on message. Uh, you know, most of the analyst community agrees with uh, kind of the direction that they're looking to take it. You could say that IBM is very bullish on open source projects. How is it possible for IBM then to compete and differentiate in open source environments? Yeah, uh, I, actually, I'd go further and say not, not just bullish. I mean, uh, that open source is you know critical to IBM's strategy, and IBM makes bold moves. Uh, remember, uh, back a decade ago, IBM made a huge push into Linux. Um, you know, they've got you know dozens of development areas around the world where people are working on Linux. Uh, IBM doesn't just talk about open source, they commit resources, both dollar-wise and people. Uh, uh, Dave Vellante was looking through uh, GitHub and looking at OpenStack, and I, th I think IBM was like the, I think it was the second uh, highest con contributor on, on many of the projects. Uh, the Open Daylight Initiative for uh, SDN has, uh, IBM really is uh, one of the largest contributors there. Uh, and uh, what Ambush Gayal says is that the way that IBM competes is through execution, not through control. Uh, so uh, I, I like that line. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, we also hear HP talk a lot about driving open source. So uh, you need to contribute to the community. Uh, you need to put together those solutions that build on top uh, of what they have. And of course, IBM has good software and good services to kind of bring the whole solution together. So, uh, you know, definitely IBM is well experienced at leveraging open source. Uh, and one of the things I'd say is open source really typically will pull dollars away from licenses and drive them towards service which is right into the wheelhouse of IBM. Stu, uh, what would you say would be some of the highlights at this year's IBM conference, and what are some of your top takeaways from uh, this second Edge conference? Yeah, uh, well, definitely uh, the, the commitment to Flash and how broadly it goes across the, the portfolio. So not only from the hardware components and the storage pieces, uh, you heard the whole system group, pure systems as to how Flash fits into that architecture. Of course, uh, you know, I hadn't mentioned it, but SVC is still critical to what IBM's doing. So, uh, you know, that allows storage virtualization uh, so we can put Flash behind that. Um, and that also transitions to uh, what uh, IBM calls software-defined environments. Um, really what uh, most would probably call software-defined storage. So really they're extending uh, that SVC storage virtualization into the software-defined environment. Um, really it has to be kind of that orchestration uh, and automation that helps uh, transition it from just being purely virtualization to being software defined. Um, but, you know, IBM is, you know, strongly committed, you know, uh, has some good growth areas uh, that they can push into. Uh, they, they talked a lot about commoditization too, uh, as, you know, IBM still, uh, I, I believe that the quote uh, Dave Vellante always uses from Lou Gerstner is, they're a recovering, uh, you know, they're like a recovering alcoholic. They had a hardware addiction, but it's that commitment to open source that's driving the future of uh, where IBM is going. Um, the big takeaway for me is that the conference has doubled in size, um, and uh, you know, really everybody seemed to be happy to be there. It wasn't a, why is IBM doing this show? It's, they've only done it for two years. They should have done it a couple of years sooner, and it helped drive strong momentum uh, with the systems integrators and VARs, as well as the MSPs, the service providers, and uh, you know, the, the, the customers, I, I wouldn't say it was like walking amongst you know, just a bunch of fanboys, but people that really understand what IBM's doing, where they're going, uh, and uh, you know, very positive atmosphere there. When you find yourself interacting with conference attendees, what are your discussions about? What's buzzing? Uh, yeah, so uh, I think you know, Flash obviously is something that the customers are all looking to to pull in, uh, and uh, one of the things that was really buzzing was uh, IBM's acquisition of SoftLayer. So uh, you know, IBM hasn't really tried to overhype the cloud. Um, you know, I, IBM's not too often about hype. They are about they have a number of solutions. They have many different ways they go to market. Uh, it, it's such a large organization, uh, and they have so many solutions uh, that it, it's easy for IBM to play many angles. So they have SoftLayer, which gives them cloud stack, as well as they're you know heavily working on open stack solutions. Um, so you know, uh, customers seem you know quite happy working with IBM. And uh, you know, just some great conversations is the reality of what they can do. And you know, there's obviously some things that IBM needs to do better. Uh, they need to make strides in storage. Their server business has been a little bit on the decline with the overall server business. Um, but uh, you know, they, they're working through their pipeline. They've got a robust uh, roadmap, and uh, you know, definitely one to watch in the space. Has IBM addressed any of those issues during the conference? Uh, you know, most of the issues that I heard weren't around the announcements. Uh, things like uh, on their Converge system, uh, we're a little bit over a year into uh, the, the, since the launch of the product. Uh, I'd say some of the maturity of the software needs to increase and uh, how they're going to market through the channel. So uh, here are good, strong indicators uh, that they're, the, the solution set as well and definitely getting lots of test case environments. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, I was talking to the, the general manager of the solution, I believe it was, and uh, they're getting good traction in uh, the emerging uh, markets, so like China and Africa, um, which, which is uh, different than the rest of the converged infrastructure vendors that have tended to track with the virtualization typically, so heavy in North America and going to Europe. Uh, so uh, IBM's going to some of those lesser served markets, but um, you know, no, 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 nothing that I heard uh, at the show that IBM had, uh, you know, the announcements that that answered those, but um, mm -hmm. we, we know that IBM is working through and, and talking and listening to their customers very closely. Well, Stu, we know you've got a busy travel schedule, but thank you so much for taking the time to check in with us. Great to have you. Thanks. We'll uh, be talking to you again soon.
And get your daily dose of tech to get you through the midweek slump. Your SiliconANGLE Daily Roundup fills you in next here on News Desk. We looked at all the programs out there and identified a gap in tech news coverage. There are plenty of tech shows that provide new gadgets and talk about the latest in gaming, but those shows are just the tip of the iceberg and we're here for the deep dive. 